Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Uh, this is Joe from uh, Casa Verde and I'm in uh, Uptown Dallas or actually I'm just a mile from downtown so oh, half a mile from downtown it's, it's, it's downtown Dallas really but I don't know why they call it uptown. Anyway today um, well, I've decided to make my own moss pole okay um, about a year ago I bought this monstera plant and I figured I just leave it in my uh, living room, put it there, water it, feed it, and then it's just gonna grow big leaves, right? The ones that you see on Instagram. At least that was my hope. Well, apparently not. Uh, a year later, uh, I'm still waiting for those big leaves. So I decided to do some research, went on YouTube, uh, and uh, uh, I found someone that said that you need to make the leaves climb, right, to make it bigger. So you either need to put a stake or you need to put the moss pole. Now I went on Amazon and the moss pole's like about 50 bucks. So screw that, I said, and let me just go to Home Depot. I bought this, um, it's about a three and a half foot pole, right? Those, those stakes that you buy for $2, right? And um, um, I bought some twine and I figured I'm just gonna wrap the pole with some twine, right? So that I'll give the roots, the air roots of the Monstera, something to cling on. Uh, apparently, uh, also from that video I saw, if you just use the, the pole, it's too smooth. So there's nothing for the root to, uh, the air root to cling on. So uh, twine's not that expensive, probably about $3. Okay, so uh, I've actually started it before I started the video. I've been do I think I've been doing this for the last 10 minutes. And I think I'll probably have another couple of minutes to complete this. So as you can see, I'm just rolling the twine around the pole, right? Okay, I'm just making sure that it's not too tight, just tight enough. Oh, also, um, on the top here, right? I don't know if you can see that. Let me let me get that closer to the camera. Okay. Um, I didn't have a staple gun, but uh, I, I saw folks where they just stapled the end or glue it, right? I, I'm not really a handy guy, so I don't have I don't own staple gun. So I decided to just use a rubber band and put it around it. Now, um, I, I guess you can just tie it as a, in a knot, right? Or whatever as you you use or tape it if you want with duct tape but I wanted it to look nice um, I, I, I want to make sure that uh, otherwise my roommate will kill me right it has to blend with our furniture okay I can't just put anything in there so like I said it's in my, in my living room okay I, I think I'm almost done um, it's a gorgeous day right now it's a gorgeous Saturday here in Dallas it's a little warm, right? As you can see, uh, that's my view. Uh, this is my office uh, during the week, uh, Monday to Friday, and then on the weekends, it's essentially my greenhouse. This is where I repot, I, I, I trim my plants or, or create my moss pole, as you can see. So, I think we're done with this. I'm just gonna tie it up. Oh, I need to cut it. Um, one second, let me okay I'm just gonna cut it and I'll probably um, use this twine from the package from the packaging that this came in and just tie it up right um, there you go so now I'm done we're now gonna go to um, oh you know what no, I don't think I need to uh, use the twine. I'll just uh, loop it up here, and that should that should take care of it, really. So now I have my own homemade moss pole for five bucks and twenty minutes of my time. Okay, so let's take a look at my monster. Okay, guys. So as I said, I did my moss pole, and now. Um, my plan was to just stick the moss pole into the pot, 
But then, as I was about to do that, uh, I realized that the pot itself is too small and it, it's actually getting too small for the plant. So I decided, you know what, since I'm gonna put that moss pole anyway, might as well repot my Monstera. And so you get a two-in-one deal, right? Uh, how to create the moss pole. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna repot my Monstera, okay? So, first thing is, um, I need to take this out. I need to make sure that, okay, this thing. Um, I just need to take out all the um, packing foam and make sure that my pot actually fits. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this Monstera plant out of its original grow pot. I actually have not moved this plant at all since I bought it a year ago. Um, so let me just, okay, the way to do this is you want to loosen up the plant from its pot, right? So you can just pull it out. Okay, just be careful that you don't tear out the roots. Okay, so I'm just doing that real slow. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. Nope, not yet. Let me, okay, let me squeeze, give that a little squeeze. And now I think I'll be able to pull it out. Let me get my pot closer. Okay, now. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Okay, there. See? That's the root ball. I've now placed it in its new pot. I'm going to fill it with a little bit of uh, soil. And then we're done. And then I'm going to put in the pole. Oh, the pole's going to stay right here. Okay? So there. That's how it's gonna look like. Okay, I'll be back guys. Give me a couple of minutes to uh, get some soil. Hey guys, I'm back. So, I've repotted my plant, right? So I put it in a bigger pot. This is the old one, you can see. So that's gone, right? Now, I just need to put the pole inside the pot, right? Try to stick it into the dirt. And, um, make sure that I don't hit any roots, okay? So, there it is, okay? Um, actually, I'm thinking I might put it here where you have, right, more leaves. There you go, okay? So, you guys can see it? Okay, so, I think that's it. I'm done, right? So I've got, I've repotted my Monstera, right? So it's a new home, more soil. I fed it, and then I put in my moss pole. So hopefully, a year from now, when I create another video, I can show you a leaf that's bigger than my head, right? With lots of holes. We'll see, okay? Till the next time, guys. See you later, stay safe.